Moving to a new place can be really scary, especially if it's a place you've never been to or you've never visited. A lot of people are going to give you their opinions. A lot of times they're going to be opposing opinions. At least that's what happened in my case. So how do you know you're making the right decision? If you're new to my channel, I'm Ashika and I've moved to the UK two months ago with my family and my dogs. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do so. You can also follow me on Instagram at Absolutely Ashika. So a lot of people have opposing opinions on whether you should move to the UK or not. A lot of people seem to prefer other places like Canada or Australia or the US over the UK and they have their list of reasons. But today I wanted to talk about a few reasons why you should not move to the UK. Don't move to the UK if you're a homebody. I mean, there's so much to do in the UK that it can actually be dangerous for you. There are beautiful places like the Cotswolds and there's Scotland and Ireland close by and there's Bath and Somerset. And those are just scenic places. Apart from that, there's Legoland, there's the Harry Potter Studios and there's the ever thrilling London. So if you're somebody who likes sitting at home and enjoying the time on your couch, the UK is a dangerous place to be. Don't move to the UK if you don't believe in work-life balance. I mean, Jeff Bezos doesn't, right? You've all seen the video. If you want to run the race and you want to emerge a winner, the UK is probably not the best place for you to be. Work-life balance is really important in the UK, which is why there's a lot of emphasis paid to your family time and your personal time. Most often than not, people won't take calls after work hours. On Saturdays and Sundays, a lot of stores close at 5 p.m. And on Sundays, a lot of stores don't open at all. Simply because the amount of attention that is paid to your family life or your personal life. But if this is something that doesn't appeal to you, you should not move to the UK. Before I move ahead, I have a small request. Since I'm new to YouTube and I still need a lot of your help, it would do me a lot of good if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on the subscribe button below. You can also give me a thumbs up if you like this video or leave a comment to help me out. Don't move to the UK if you are a fan of traditional education. So there's an emphasis here on teaching children how to appreciate their surroundings and appreciate nature. The schools here especially have their children spend a lot of time outdoors so they get to know what wildlife is like, what nature is like and how we can play our role in this. But if you feel this isn't important and the planet we live in and the earth we live in isn't really important to you and your family, don't move to the UK. Don't move to the UK if you don't believe in free healthcare. You're probably thinking there's a catch, right? I mean, why would the government give out free healthcare? Well, there is a catch. This healthcare is paid for by the taxes that you pay the government. But if that gets you thinking, I mean, we actually paid taxes back in our home country as well and we paid a lot of taxes. But we didn't get free healthcare. For that matter, we didn't get free anything. So there must be a catch, right? I mean, why would the government want to care for their citizens and give them great healthcare opportunities for free, right? Don't come to the UK if you feel a healthy lifestyle is overrated. You've probably gone for most of your life living in a lot of polluted air, uh, especially during festival times when firecrackers go up in the air and uh, you can barely breathe outside. You also are not able to drink out of the taps in your homes, but that's okay, right? I mean, isn't healthy lifestyles overrated anyway? Here's the thing. The air in the UK is so fresh that you can almost taste it and you can drink water straight out of the tap. And there isn't really any signs of pollution anywhere, but who really wants that life, right? Don't move to the UK if you are perfect the way you are. Moving to the UK may mean that you need to adapt and adjust yourself to the life here. It may mean changing the way you greet people. Or it may mean respecting other people's cultural sensitivities. It may mean not dashing across the road when there's a pedestrian signal that hasn't gone off yet. It may mean changing the way you shop, changing the way you eat, changing the way you dress and changing the way you meet people. But if you're perfect the way you are, don't move to the UK. Don't move to the UK if you do not like friendly people. I mean, it's ridiculous the number of unknown people that walk up to you with a smile every morning and say, how you doing? Or ask you how you've been? Or ask you how your kid is or how your dogs are and want to pet them or play with them. I mean, who's that friendly, right? But on a more serious note, 
It's been two months since we've moved to the UK and contrary to what a lot of people said, it is a pretty great place to be. If you have your doubts about living in the UK just like I did, brush them aside if all of the points above resonate with you. A lot of you might have concerns on whether you should move to the UK or not and I am happy to help in whatever way I can. So if you do have any concerns, write them down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. I have another request. It would be absolutely great if you could tell me what you think I should talk about in upcoming videos. You can let me know by leaving a comment below. I put out a video every week on life in the UK. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button below. You can also give me a like or a thumbs up if you feel this video has helped you in any way. Please share this with your friends who plan on moving to the UK or just any friends you think might benefit from this. You can also follow me on Instagram at absolutelyashika. Thanks for watching and have a great day.